six weeks pregnant, your little one is developing new features. This week's most important milestone, the neural tube begins to close over what will become your baby's spinal cord. There's more. This week, the areas that will become the eyes and ears have started to project as bumps, and other tiny buds are forming that will eventually grow into arms and legs. A tiny heartbeat of about 105 beats per minute may be detectable in an ultrasound this week, and the brain and nervous system are also developing quickly. In fact, the nose, mouth, and inner and outer ears are just starting to take shape, along with the lungs. In just a few weeks, breathing tubes will form between the throat and the lungs, getting ready for your little one's first breath of air, and maybe a loud wail, at birth. The size of the embryo, at six weeks, pregnant. At six weeks, your embryo measures an average of 0.08 to 0.2 inches about the size of a pomegranate seed. Take a look at the visual below to get an idea of how things are progressing inside your belly. At six weeks, when it comes to the embryo, things are starting to take shape. Mom's body at six weeks pregnant. This week, your breasts may feel tender or achy because of increased blood flow. This is a normal part of your body preparing for breastfeeding. Wearing a supportive bra can help with discomfort. You may also experience constipation because of an increase in progesterone, which slows down the digestive tract. To deal with this, exercise regularly, eat a balanced diet with high-fiber foods, and drink plenty of water. Six weeks pregnant, your symptoms. At six weeks pregnant, here are some of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Spotting. It's not unusual to see some spotting at six weeks, but it should be light, not even enough to cover a small pantaliner. This implantation bleeding is normal, but if you see a lot of blood, if the spotting lasts longer than two days, or you have any concerns, be sure to see your doctor right away. Cramping. At six weeks pregnant, slight cramping can be normal. It's a sign your uterus and the surrounding tissues are expanding to make room for your baby. If you feel pain more severe than usual period cramping, especially if accompanied by a fever or diarrhea, contact your doctor immediately. Morning sickness. If you haven't yet had morning sickness, this may be the week it arrives. Morning sickness can happen any time of day or night. It may be triggered by certain movements, smells, an empty stomach, or nothing at all. Crackers and other simple, starchy foods can help, so keep a little something on hand for those random bouts of nausea. Exhaustion. You may feel completely exhausted due to pregnancy fatigue, and that's okay. As your levels of the pregnancy hormone progesterone are increasing, making you more and more tired, you may find taking naps can help. Some women also say that little snacks and some light exercise are effective in fighting off fatigue. Ways to help yourself feel a bit better. No symptoms. That's right, it's possible to be six weeks pregnant with no symptoms whatsoever. Every pregnancy and every woman is different. For example, some women never experience morning sickness, so if you're one of the lucky few, enjoy these nausea-free days without worry.